What is going on, everybody? This is Drydox here. What the hell? Boom! <sighs> Bringing you a tip type of video for Call of Duty, like Call of Duty tips. I just want to give y'all give some advice of, uh, to some of those players who are new to the competitive scene, or even the, those who've been around for a while and um, want to, I guess, learn some uh, learn some things about Call of Duty, about how, how to become a better Call of Duty player. Now, before we get into this video, by no means am I things that I'm saying um, or am I saying that I am just top-notch, experienced, just knows everything about Call of Duty. But what I can say is I've been playing uh, competitive, not not you know competitive as like the pro scene or go to like lands, nothing like that. But like online, been playing since Halo Three, um, playing game battles, UMGs. Um, you know, I've been playing competitive for a really long time, and me, myself speaking, I am a very, um, I'm a very, very competitive person, and I like to win. So throughout these years of playing, um, I'm 24. I've been playing, I get, I've been playing since competitive since high school, and just from starting from when I, I was a kid, I'm still a kid, you know, in in a sense. Uh, 24 is not all that old, but I'm speaking as as if whenever I was like about 15 or 14 or so, even younger than that. Um, from all the years playing up until now, I've learned a lot about competitive and about how people act and how it affects their way of playing um, and trying to win, you know, for money or even uh, XP matches or whatever it may be. So the advice I'm about to give y'all guys, just uh, take it in and uh, if you want to listen, you can listen. If not, and that is okay as well. Just trying to help out people and letting you know from what I understand and seen throughout the years of playing. Um, what can help you out to become a better, uh, better competitor or better gamer or better whatever, anything at life, anything at all. So um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. The first thing I want to talk about is positive attitude, man. I mention it in every single one of my videos. Everybody that I play with or plays with me um, in Call of Duty or whatever it may be, y'all know me as a very positive type of person. I always used to think, I always used to say this. Positivity attracts positivity. Y'all will hear it day in and day out on my Twitter and on my YouTube channel. I literally talk about it all the time, a lot, and I live by it. Positivity is a huge key in my life, and I really feel like if y'all would live by that, um, it will help y'all out, especially out of life and in Call of Duty or in whatever competitive game you play. Um, no matter if it, if y'all are down 05, let's speak for instance, because I'm a, I like to play Search and Destroy, I'm a big S&E guy, um, or it can, it, can, it can even be a hard point, whatever it may be, man. If y'all are losing, for instance, I'm just using Search and Destroy as an example. If you are losing 5-0, to zero, um, there is a big majority of people out there. Now this is me, like I said at the beginning of the video, speaking from seeing people, how they react and how their game goes throughout the rest of the game, how their attitude uh, portrays the rest of their game, uh, their gameplay. They will they will get first blooded or they'll get uh, BS by a guy, get, they get turn on them or they, um, they get lag comp, they get shots into somebody and they're supposed to die and they don't, right? You'll hear the person rage and throw a huge fit and they're just like down and all like pissed off the rest of the game. It affects the, their gameplay and it can also affect your teammates gameplay as well. And like I was saying, positive positive attitude positive mind throughout the game the whole game doesn't matter if you're winning or if you're losing if you're losing five to zero you still need a positive mind and a positive attitude throughout the whole game no matter what the score is because the way you act will feed and go off onto your teammates and that's the most important thing to me is being positive you want to be positive talk your teammates up help them out uh, congratulate them they get a kill defuse uh, you know whatever it may be um, like little things like that man little things like that will get you a long ways and build you build you and your team up together as one y'all do a lot better a lot a thousand times better and you'll see a big big difference man so that's the first thing I want to talk about man just um, and mention that to your teammates about like um, like talking each other up and it'll you'll you'll see a big difference. I promise, man. And y'all always you always see that in me. I'm always positive. I always want to help each other, help other people out, uh, boosting their confidence up. And uh, I, I mean, I see it. I see people play better like that. So, um, again, this is what I want to talk about. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Second thing I want to talk about uh, is confidence. 
never ever feel intimidated by somebody where you've played different don't like don't don't do that don't feel nervous um, play the way that you know how to play and go into a gunfight go into a game whatever it may be with confidence um, now what I mean by that is like when like like I was saying when you're about to get into a gunfight don't be like oh my god I know who this guy is I know he has better gun skill or his shot is really good don't go in there like that thinking that because that whole game is going to be in the back of your mind and you're just going to be scared to make a move. You're going to be like kind of nervous and you're going to be like, should I do this? Should I do that? You don't want that. That will literally destroy your game, destroy your gameplay. Like you're, you're, it'll just throw everything off and you will just be, your shot will be all crazy. Oh my gosh, man. I can't tell you how many times back in the day. I'll be nervous, like, oh my god, I'm going up against this guy. Oh my god, dude. Oh, okay, we got this. I'll, I'll, I'll be saying, oh, we got this, but in my head, I'm like, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know this dude. This dude's good, man. Like, I'm nervous. Like, it's okay to like to feel, but like, not not butterflies, not like that, but like to get excited. You'd rather play somebody. That's that's two that's two different stories. When you're excited to play somebody, or your uh, lack of confidence. So remember, go into a game with confidence, like, oh, I'm about, we're about to win this, I got confident in my gun skill, my stun, snipe, whatever it may be. Have confidence, don't be scared, 5-5, five, five, don't be scared. I know it's nerd, you get ner you kind of be like, oh crap, you know, but you have to like, you gotta get control of yourself and just remember, like, I, I know I'm good, don't, like, don't be cocky about it, but like, in, in your, you know, I know I'm good, and... I know I can clutch up. Like, th let's do this. Let's get this. I know I, I have confidence in myself. All right. So uh, that's number two. That's the second thing I want to talk about is confidence. All right. Third thing I want to talk about is a lot of grinding. Okay, a lot of grinding. Okay. Now I'm not talking about grinding with you know you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that. You know I'm talking about grinding as in um, if you're trying to be a pro player or whatever it may be, even anything outside of games, man, grinding. You have to keep putting in effort and you got to be consistent at what you do, okay? No matter what it is, be consistent. Keep grinding, keep practicing what you want to do, what you want to get better at. If you have a if you have a weakness at something um, with you and your team, you know, you and your team talk about it man to man or girl to girl, girl to guy, whatever it may be. Talk about it. Uh, work, work it out. Um, find different flaws or what y'all can do to better help each other, okay? Uh, don't try to have your whole team or whatever it may or the other person try to play around your play style or you play around their play style y'all work together and um play around each other's play style okay find something where y'all can both agree with and play and grind okay you got to keep playing keep playing learn to his play style <clears throat> learn the game uh, watch watch pro players watch whatever it may be just keep keep grinding the game keep playing and keep getting better i can, I can promise you guys now again, I'm not saying like I'm this is all around just amazing Call of Duty player or whatever it may be, but what I am saying is I started game battles on M or on Halo 3, and I thought I was just hot shit at Halo. Now don't get me wrong, I was really good at Halo back in the day. Okay, um, I was a 50. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Halo, but I was a 50 and like all the playlists, all of their stuff. I hop on game battles. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I got a wake up call. Then I got on MW3 again. I, you know, I thought I was good. I got on game battles. I was like, "God, man, these guys are destroying me. What is going on?" When I first started competitive, right? So um, I was like, "Dang, this sucks, man." Um, like I, I almost didn't even want to play because I kept losing so many matches, right? I just want to keep playing pubs. But the thing is, um, you gotta keep taking losses, keep taking losses, keep taking losses, and eventually you'll get to where you want to be, and you'll get. Um, You'll get really good at it at the game, and that's just with anything that you do. You have to keep, keep, keep playing something, keep doing something. Consistency, guys, consistency. Keep on grinding, keep on playing. Um, you'll slowly but surely, I guess you know, you know the whole saying, slowly but surely win the race, like the turtle and the rabbit, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, just keep playing, keep learning, and. It's a never-ending process, you know. You're learning your mind. You just keep learning. It's never-ending. You learn stuff every day. So uh, all I can say is just keep grinding, man. Uh, the fourth thing I want to talk about, guys, um, communication. Okay, communication is a another big thing of mine. Okay, you have to communicate, and that goes back to um, being having a positive attitude. You know, in a sense. Uh, communicate your teammates. Call out. Call out. Call out. Call out. No matter if 
they threw the stun, if you threw the stun. As soon as you throw the stun, I'm throwing stun so and so. They threw the stun, they threw a stun at or in so and so. You know what I'm saying? Like they stunned me. Um, just anything. I'm, I'm. There's one guy at you know mid street. If you see two, there's two guys mid street. Mid street. There's certain specific specific callouts. For instance, Black Ops Three on Fringe. Um, you call out. There's one guy at White Truck mid street. Okay. If you see two guys and you're on, and you're like, um, you see two guys shooting and you're like, there, there, there's a guy at White Truck. And your teammate goes around to go to kill that one guy that he thinks so you, that he thinks there's one guy because you said there's a guy a white truck, but in reality there's actually two guys, but because you didn't call that out, then he and he gets killed. Like that could have been a game changer, you know. He could have played that differently. That the the round could have been differently because you called out two guys instead of one guy. So always remember to call out everything you do. Call out if you're a one shot. If the, if the guy's one shot. Um, just where whatever you see or hear you just call out i'm not saying just consistently just like um i'm strafing right i'm strafing left i'm, 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 I'm you know none of that crap you know I'm just, I'm just saying like the the little things matter i see a guy there um let's both go this way both go that way you go this way i go that way i'm planting the bomb on this side of the bomb i'm planting the bomb on the other side of the bomb i'm planting where you can see from mid you know from wherever I'm stunning over. I'm stunning this way. I gotta stun that way. This, all of that kind of stuff, guys. Remember, communication, communication, always communicate. All right. Uh, so, the last thing I want to talk about. Um, every game that you play, whether it's wager matches or free ladder. Now, I get a lot of crap uh, from people because I'm ranked sixth on UMG gaming.com um, and that has to do with a lot of grinding XP matches okay and I'm not trying to become this hot shot professional Call of Duty player okay um, but I thoroughly enjoy playing and making videos and all that other stuff so I like playing XP matches that's just the way I am and I also like playing wagers as well I have like 500 and something earnings on my account or something like that. I got. I also play tournaments. I have like, let's see, I got, I got like five trophies. Some, I got, I got something like that. Anyways, the point is, um, whether you're playing XP matches or wager matches, um, obviously you want have fun. Have fun when you play. Um, that, I mean, that goes back to positive attitude, communi you know, all that stuff, confidence, grinding, communicate, all that stuff adds up to. Um, we take the game serious and have fun with it at, at, as well at the same time. Have fun and play. Don't yell at your teammates. None of that. Talk your teammates up, even if they get joked. Because every one of y'all, every single one of y'all watching this video, doesn't matter who you are, has got joked, has dropped zero kills in a match in, in Search and Destroy. Somewhere along the line in your life, you have got embarrassed on Call of Duty. You choked around something, right? Something has happened to you, okay? Everyone makes mistakes, and all I'm saying is, um, just like every game that you play, wagers, XP, whatever, it just have fun, have fun with it, and also take it serious at the same time. If that makes any sense, just um, I don't. It's hard to explain what, what I'm trying to get out to you guys. All I'm like, just t like taking it serious, even if it's XP matches. If it's just virtual XP matches, if you want to learn the game, get better at something, like, work at it. Work at it so you can get to that next level of play, playing wagers and winning money, playing tournaments. It all starts from somewhere, guys. If, you, if you're just being sloppy in XP matches, all that is going to carry over into wagers eventually. It's just all about how you just, like, how you, how you mold yourself in, like, what you want yourself to mold into. So... If you're if you're grinding XP matches, free ladder on UMG game battles, whatever it may be, um, ha, like have fun doing it. Like have fun. I, I I have a lot of fun playing. But at the same time, during the match, like take it serious. Try to win. Y'all, I'm sure y'all ran across the players. You beat them. They're like, oh, it was just XP matches. Um, you know, I'm not taking it serious. We're it feels for money. Challenging for twenty dollars. You know, like all that. Like there's a lot of people who do that, man. But. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all I wanted to talk about. So like, po having a positive attitude, confidence, um, a lot of grinding the game, keep playing the game, communication with your teammates, and uh, even if it's XP matches, 
uh, or like X matches, wager matches, tournaments, whatever it may be. Like, have fun, man. Have fun playing. It's a game. It's, just, it's like a hobby we like to do. Have fun. But at the same time, like, take it serious and try to win. That's the only way you're, you'll, you'll get better, man. Like, even if you're up five to zero, like, play as if it was five to five. You'll see yourself get better, man. And, and and remember guys, take this video, this advice, I guess you can say, um, again, I, like, I'm, I'm 24 and I've been playing since I was, I've been playing games since I was like little, little, but like competitive since I was about like 14 or so or 13. Um, and I've, throughout the years, I've, I've learned a lot from other people and how they act, how I act, uh, just all that, man, just, I've learned a lot, man. I can tell y'all that it helps to like stay positive. Um, just the five things that I told y'all, man. Positive attitude, just staying positive, have confidence going into a game with your gun skill, uh, communicating with your teammates, um, grinding a lot, uh, critiquing, um, like he like helping each other out, um, and taking the game serious, man, and having fun, guys. That's all I really wanted to talk about, man. I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I haven't, I don't think I've ever done a video like this, really, but um, I really think this can help y'all out. Um, if it, I, I hope so, man. Let me know down in the comments below if this helps you out. Uh, let me know if I've played you before, if it if it's in pubs or EMG, a tournament, where, you know, GBs, whatever it may be. Um, let me know. If, let me know if I've played y'all down in the comments. I want to know, man. Like the video if y'all like the video, guys. And um, yeah, guys, remember, guys, like I always say, positivity attracts positivity. Positive mind, man. It'll get you a long ways in life and throughout Call of Duty as well. So guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Till next time, this is Drydox. Peace.